The Nicholas Go to John trial continues today. Fireworks happening in the courtroom as cross examination now going on behalf of medical experts. Criminal defense attorney Adam Woody joining us this morning. What was your take? Actually, let's back up a little bit. We talked about the medical experts. The big star in the room was Gypsy Blanchard and her testimony. That was the very first witness the defense called. Yeah, yesterday was a, was a big day. Everything be, sort of became more clear from both sides. Uh, as you mentioned, Gypsy was kind of the star of the show. She was the main, main witness throughout the trial. And uh, she really provided ammunition for both sides when you really listen to her testimony. Uh, the defense wanted to get out again her horrific story regarding the details of her upbringing and uh, how Dee Dee would treat her uh, throughout her life. Um, and, and you also got the fact that this entire plan was hers. This was her idea. The homicide was her idea. She sort of talked Godijan into it, and, uh, and, and she was the brains behind the operation, essentially. So those were some good points for the defense. But when it comes to the state's perspective, they were able to effectively cross-examine her in bringing out the fact that this is something that they had been talking about for quite some time. The fact that uh, they, they had different plans of what they were going to do, and this homicide, unfortunately, was one of their plans, and that was the one that they chose, uh, but they had been working on this for quite some time, and again, that goes back to the state's main point of deliberation, that this had been thought about, had been planned uh, for months, and possibly even up to a year. That was definitely interesting. Definitely the first type of emotion that we saw in this case. Leading up to that, it was a lot of facts and figures and pictures. This was really emotion as Gypsy was allowed to play out some of those facts uh, back from 2015. The defense's next witness was a medical expert that really talked about um, the low average IQ of Go to John. Also, um, that he struggled just with daily tasks. He had one job, um, and that was kind of spinning a sign out of a pizza parlor. Um, also forgets to do basic tasks like showering and brushing his teeth. And that was really to try to prove that he did not deliberate. He doesn't have the mental capacity to, to deliberate. That's exactly right. Dr. Franks is a, is a good witness. He's a good psychiatrist. But uh, the, the main point that the, that the defense wanted to use with him was the fact that uh, Nicholas Godijan is very low functioning. They wanted to, to, to bring that point and hammer that point home to the jury that uh, he, he can't necessarily think for himself. He forgets, as you mentioned, to do uh, just menial daily tasks. Uh, and the most important thing that Dr. Frank said is he specifically said that throughout my evaluation of Nicholas Godijan, it's my uh, professional opinion, my scientific opinion, that he could not deliberate, that he cannot consider his actions uh, enough to deliberate upon something this big. You mentioned deliberation. That is the major difference between first degree murder and second degree murder. Those lesser included offenses we've been talking about all week leading in the jury, once closing arguments happen, which we anticipate to happen today, they've got to come to a unanimous decision one way or the other. Yeah, it has to be uh, 12 people agreeing one way or another, whether they all agree for first degree murder or whether they all agree for second degree murder. It has to be unanimous, 12 jurors, all, uh, all on one side. And this is something that we could obviously see a lot of uh, talking back and forth between because of that. Talk about the differences in sentencing between first and second degree murder. So basically if the jury finds him guilty of first degree murder deciding that he committed this homicide after deliberation, it's life in prison without parole period. That's the only sentence possible. If the jury decides that he couldn't, he didn't have the capacity to deliberate or that he did not deliberate, that could bump it down to second degree murder uh, at which time the range of punishment is 10 to 30 years in Department of Corrections or life, and it is a parolable offense at that point. That'll be very interesting. Go to John mentioning earlier in the trial that he may testify in that sentencing hearing if we get to that point. Adam, thanks so much for joining us this week. We really appreciate it. Trial continues this morning at the Greene County Courthouse. Daybreak. We'll be right back after this.